Oh, hi. It's so good to see you. Come on in. I'm so glad you stopped by. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good and having a great day. If it's been a rough day, I'm sorry. But tomorrow will be better. Do you ever have something that's bothering you? Go ahead. Tell me. I'll listen. Did you know that sometimes things happen to us that are not fun? Maybe that's happened to you before. And sometimes we might not like what someone says to us, or maybe they do something that isn't very fair. But did you also know that even if someone isn't nice to you, or if something happens in your life that doesn't seem very fair, that you get to decide what to do and how to treat the person who did something wrong to you? Would you like to hear a story? Let me tell you about a young man named Jake. Jake was once faced with a choice of how to treat someone who was not very nice to him. You see, when Jake was a young man, just starting out on his own, he needed a car. So, he started looking for one. He looked at a lot of different cars. He wasn't sure if he wanted a blue car, or a green car, or a red car, or maybe even a silver car. He knew that he needed to take his time and get the perfect car that he would love to drive forever. So he looked and he waited and he saw lots of different types, sizes, and colors of cars. Then one day he found it, the perfect car. It had everything he loved and that he was looking for. It was the most beautiful silver car he had ever seen. It was truly perfect. It was brand new, in perfect condition. And when he inspected it, he saw that there were no scratches or dings or anything. It was so clean and sparkly. Right away, he knew this was the car that he wanted. There was only one problem. It was a very expensive car. And being a young man and just starting out in life, he didn't have a lot of money to spend. But he wanted this car so badly. Now the owner of the car could see how much Jake wanted the car and how much he loved the car. So the owner of the car came up with a plan. If Jake would agree to work for him for seven years, he would give him the car as payment for his service. Wow, that's quite the offer, don't you think? Seven years of work in exchange for the car of your dreams. How would you feel about the offer? What would you do? Oh, what did Jake do? Right, let me get back to the story. Now, Jake knew he wanted this car. It was perfect. But he also knew that someone else might want to buy this car too before he could earn enough money to buy it himself. So he thought about the man's offer, and he quickly agreed. So, over the next seven years, Jake worked for the man. Even when it wasn't easy, or work that he didn't like to do, he made sure to complete every task. Every day he would look at his car, knowing it was going to be his, and his love for that car grew. As each year passed, Jake's excitement grew and grew until at last the day had arrived. It was finally time. He had worked so very hard over these last seven years. He got up extra early that morning and rushed over to see the man. He was so excited when he arrived and saw a note on his desk with a fresh set of car keys. The note said, You have served me well. Please collect your hard-earned reward. Your car's waiting for you. Enjoy. Jake quickly grabbed the keys and ran outside to his prized possession. So you can imagine his surprise to see a silver car that was old, dirty, covered with scratches and dings and dents, most definitely not his beautiful silver sought-after car. He stopped and stared in disbelief. How could this be? He had worked so hard for seven years, and this was not what he had agreed to. As a range of emotions built up inside of him, sadness, 
anger, despair, frustration, and disappointment, he set off to find the man that he had made this bargain with and get an explanation because he was sure that this was an honest mistake. However, when he found the man and expressed his frustration and disbelief at the mistake that was clearly made, the man just shrugged his shoulders, pretending it was no big deal at all. He told Jake that he should be happy with this car. It was silver after all, and while it was less beautiful than his dream car, it was still a good car in working order and would serve him well. Can you believe how this man treated Jake? How would you feel if someone promised you something but then changed the deal after you had kept your end of the agreement? Well, Jake couldn't believe it either. As a matter of fact, he was more angry than he had ever been in his life, and there was no way that... Well, hang on, let me finish the story. Jake could not believe what he was hearing. He had given seven long years of honest, hard work, even when it was work that no one else wanted to do, with the promise that once his job was done, his dream car would be his. So Jake, still in disbelief, pleaded his case to the man, who still had his dream car, by the way, insisting that he would correct his dishonest, underhanded actions. The man, however, insisted that the deal was done and could not be undone. However, he saw how much Jake loved the dream car and the loyalty he had so diligently displayed over the last seven years, so he presented him with this offer. The previous agreement could not be undone. The not-so-beautiful silver car was his, but he would agree to give Jake the beautiful, new, clean, dent-free, sparkly, silver car he so badly wanted right now. But Jake had to agree to work for him for another seven years. Jake had to take a minute to think about this. He wasn't convinced this was in any way fair. While he did now have a silver car that was certainly not the one he wanted, it was a car nonetheless. Could he really work for this man? who had been so untrustworthy and a cheat for another seven years? He loved that beautiful silver car, but it just wasn't fair. Now, what do you think that Jake should do? If you were in his place, what would you do? Let's see what Jake will do next. It might surprise you. After much thought, Jake decided to agree to the man's new deal. Although he was still angry, and unsure he could really agree to the new terms. So, the man brought the beautiful silver car that Jake had worked so hard for, and he gave it to him, under the promise that he would return to work the following week. Although Jake was still thinking about this new agreement he had made, he was glad to finally have his dream car, and it was everything he had dreamed it would be. Now, Jake has a choice to make, some might say that since the man was dishonest in his first agreement, that Jake owed him nothing and should take both cars and never even think of coming back to work for this man. Others might say that he should bring his case before court. Surely they would agree that these dealings were unfair and that he owed the man no other service as his debt had already been paid under the first agreement. Now Jake's friends all agreed this was in no way right and that something must be done to fix the situation. What do you think? What should Jake do? What would you tell Jake to do? Would you like to know how the story ends? Well, Jake gave much thought to his predicament over the next few days, and he realized that even though he had been treated unfairly and unjustly, and even though he had every right to deny to continue to work for this man because of his actions, Jake was determined to do better, to be better than this man. He wanted to be known as an honest, sincere, trustworthy man of his word, and that meant he had to honor his agreement. He had to work for this man for another seven years, just as he had promised. When Jake got back to work the next week, the man was both surprised and humbled by his actions. 
he had half expected that Jake might run away, or bring his case before the court, or find some way to get out of this very unfair deal. After all, Jake already had the car that he wanted, and that's what the man would have done if he had been in Jake's position. And so, Jake earned much respect from this man. And in return, after the completion of their seven-year agreement, Jake was so admired and respected for keeping his word that the man decided to pay him for his 14 years of service as a reward for his loyalty, keeping his word, and honoring their agreement. Wow, what a story. It must have been hard for Jake to work so hard and not get in return what he had expected. And I wonder what he thought when he agreed to work another seven years to get what he was already promised. How do you think Jake felt? How would you feel? What does it really mean to keep your word? Would you be able to keep your word and be loyal to an agreement even if it seemed unfair? How would Jake's choice to honor his word affect his future? What do you think would have happened if Jake had broken his agreement and not gone back to work for the man? Why do you think keeping your word is so important? What do you think will happen in your life if you choose to be honest and true to your word? Then again, what might happen if you decide not to keep your word? Sometimes keeping your word isn't easy. It certainly wasn't for Jake. Have you ever had to choose if you would keep your word or break an agreement? I hope you'll remember Jake's story if you ever find yourself needing to make that choice. Remember that keeping your word is always the best choice, even if it's hard. Giving your word and honoring it shows others that you're trustworthy, honest, fair, and honorable, and will always carry with it much respect and admiration. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope that you'll join me again next time. Remember what you've learned about Jake, and always be sincere in keeping your promises, even when it's hard. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed our time together as much as I did. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Until next time.